Oh, it was such a special night. Uh, you know, I've been with RT and R, I have to say RTDNA and RTDNF for 12 years. And this was really the my last occasion to say goodbye and thank you to all the people that I've worked with and who meant so much to me over the years. And, you know, to hope, I hope, give them uh, a, a message of encouragement for the future to keep doing the things that uh, we need to do on behalf of journalists. And what was the highlight of tonight for you? Oh, gosh. I mean, there, I, of course, you know, my own part of it was wonderful, but I just, I loved all the other speakers. I thought, um, I thought they all did a wonderful job. And, and everybody was a little bit different. Everybody showed their own personality and their own take on things. But coming through it all, it was the same message, which is that the work that journalists do is very important. And we need to make sure that we do it well and that we uh, remember what the values are that make uh, journalism so valuable to, in, in a democracy. And you talked a little bit about in your speech about your trip to the FCC today, if you want to talk about any of that. Right. Well, I, 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 as, as great an event as this was tonight, I also uh, went earlier today and spoke at the uh, FCC's Future of Media uh, uh, workshop that they held. And uh, there were some people there who were pretty critical of the state of media today. And, you know, my job was to uh, you know, point out some of the good things that are going on, but also not to sugarcoat things, to, you know, because uh, there is a lot of pressure, there's a lot of competition, there are financial considerations, but I think everybody in the business is trying very hard to figure out how to get it right, and um, I, I think it's so important how that comes out. And what about some of the impressions tonight? We saw Brian Williams do a Bob Schieffer. What do you think about that? Well, I, you know, I've known, I've worked with Bob, and so I know that uh, his style of talking very, very well, and I thought Brian had it down cold. I, I think Brian was right. I think if you're going to mess around with the person who's speaking last, you, you know you're going to get it back in return. But... I think what it also showed is that these are people who, even though they can compete very fiercely, they have a lot of respect for each other. And any advice to aspiring journalists or people like myself just trying to fight the good fight? I think this is such an exciting time to be getting into journalism. In, in a way, I sort of envy that because I came into journalism at a revolutionary time. It was when women and, and people of color were just beginning to be hired in newsrooms and uh, opportunities were opening up and the style of journalism became uh, much more enterprising. Uh, there was a, just a lot of change going on and that's happening now too. And You know, tools like this camera that you're using, I mean, can you imagine five years ago you wouldn't have been able to do a, a decent interview with me with a, you know, a little camera that's no bigger than a deck of cards. So, uh, you know, it's just makes it possible to be gathering news everywhere. I think the 